Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home. We'll talk about Buddha. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home. It's 8.30 in Nigeria, inshallah. It is 9.30 in Cairo, and I think it's 11.30 in the Gulf, but you guys know what time it is. As always, by the grace of Allah, it's time for Viewers Pulse, this time twice a week, Sunday and Tuesday. And if you guys want to see more episodes, just give me an email, give me a call, and we can see if we can extend this program more times a week just for you guys, because really, we created this program for your, not your entertainment, but rather for your feedback in order to help drive the channel in a proper course, a course that is beneficial for Muslims all around the world and to help us reach our target audience with the appropriate academic information and knowledge and information about Islam from the correct sources, which of course is the authentic Quran and Sunnah. So that is our task here at Huda TV. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome and thank you for tuning in and thank you uh, for supporting as always Huda TV, you guys. I have some good news as far as the contact information is uh, is concerned uh, we went back to our old phone numbers by the grace of Allah so go back to that old number it's nice and clear and available and free inshallah 0020238552489 or nine and thank you for bearing with us when we had that little hiccup regarding the, the telephone lines uh, one more time it's 0020238552489 or nine you guys please make the well for me I'm a little bit sick and for Brother Osama Hashemi as well, he's a little bit sick uh, as well. Before I get into the, the program, we have a special, or why don't I give you the contact information before I get into the program, rather. The email is pulse at huda.tv. I feel like I'm a doctor because it's the pulse here, and the email is pulse, P-U-L-S-E, at huda.tv. Please feel free to email me. I do try hard and respond to every single email I've ever received. I'm a little bit backed up now, but I do, and I have returned every email uh, that I've received and I do take your feedback into account and I do pass it along uh, to the admin. Uh, that's the email pulse at huda.tv. Of course, the next piece of information is the Facebook. You guys, please support us, like and share it, you guys. Facebook.com slash huda.tv. Uh, like and share it, post on it, use it, frequent that page, give us your feedback. It's a really a wonderful way to stay in touch with you guys. Uh, it's a, a wonderful mechanism and, and medium of exchange of ideas uh, and opinions and feedback, and that's what we use it for. And also support every single program by doing the same thing. Every program, every program has a Facebook page like Living Hearts, uh, The Straight Path, Let's Talk. Uh, so use that and contact the shaker, the presenter, and get in there and give them your feedback and your thoughts. Because like I say, I, I, this truly is your channel. It's called Viewer's Pulse because we're gauging your pulse, what you guys want. So please contact, and, and of course you can even contact Sheikh Mohammed Salah directly uh, on Facebook. And uh, he tries his best to answer all those Facebook questions. So definitely get on Facebook, like and share the pages, and do that, inshallah, as soon as you can. Don't forget Skype. You guys, the, the Skype handle or ID is Huda underscore TV, okay? Huda underscore TV. And Skype, yes, is absolutely free. All you need is a strong internet connection. Please do the test call so when you call in, it's clear. You can even use the webcam, get your face on the screen there. Uh, and you can use that Skype ID for any single program, all of the programs, rather, that are live on this show, on this, on this channel, rather. And that's Huda underscore TV. So please add that to your contact list. Having said that, one more piece of information regarding the contact information. I, did, I just got word from the general director of the channel that we have finally, by the grace of Allah, opened up a new official YouTube channel. Now you guys are probably wondering, what do you mean official YouTube channel? I've seen lots of videos of Dr. Salah and various presenters and various programs, including my own programs, on YouTube. Those channels aren't official. And may Allah bless the brothers that, that upload it for us, like the brother that teach peace to you. But now we finally got it together and we would like to make an official page uh, so you can send official messages to us and expect a response, inshallah. We'll work hard to up, upload important programs, uh, important clips from programs to benefit you guys. Once I receive the entire information from the admin here, uh, as far as the name of the channel, uh, I will definitely pass that along and put the URL on the screen. I hope to have that uh, for you guys at least by 
Tuesday, inshallah, or the following Sunday. So stay tuned for that. And we also might an announce it on the Facebook page uh, as well. A brief announcement. We want to thank uh, our good friend, our brother, really, our co colleague, uh, engineer Abdul Qadr Al Abbas. Uh, he's worked with us for many years. He's a friend to all of us. Uh, by the grace of Allah, Allah just gifted him with two children, twins, um, Muhammad and Mariam. May Allah keep them safe for you, brother, and bless them. And we look forward to seeing you soon and your, and your new children, uh, inshallah. Abdul Qadr Al Abbas, who's originally from Tanta, Egypt, or Zifta rather, and he works with us here in our Cairo studios. Uh, may Allah bless you, brother, and you know, thank God that they arrived safely. And we certainly hope that they um, grow up to be righteous children. I mean, inshallah. So we're very really happy for Brother Abdul Qadr. I can't wait to see him back uh, when he's back from his paternity leave, uh, inshallah. Having said that, you guys, let's get into the program a little bit. I want to talk about Uma tonight, last night. Really, I mean, I really feel proud of Footer TV, if I can use that word proud, or pleased or thankful that we, that we have this channel, because we're really, I believe, extending and developing our programs uh, in, a, in a wonderful way, by the grace of Allah. And yesterday, and the Uma tonight is really um, um, demonstrative of that, okay? We bring, for the first time on our, our channel, uh, a Coptic Christian who gave his perspective, the Christian perspective of the Arab Spring. It was really a, an amazing dialogue. And I say dialogue, not debate, uh, because that's what it was. It was a respectful dialogue. And Fad Yusuf, a political activist here in Egypt, gave uh, his opinion. He spoke openly and freely, and it was beneficial And it was beneficial for all of us. I certainly hope to have him back on the channel soon. And I, and I know we have a phone call. If, we can, if Abu Bala can wait for one minute, I just want to get back to this brother Fad Yusuf. Uh, I lost my train of thought now, so I'll go back after the phone call. Brother Abu Bilal, assalamu alaikum. Thank you for calling. Alaikum assalam. How are you doing, Brother Malik? Alhamdulillah, Brother Gisla. Thank you for calling, Brother. Alhamdulillah, thank you so much for calling. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I just first, I just want to, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you shifa, and uh, you uh, mentioned another brother who was sick. Uh, may Allah give you both of you shifa, and everybody, uh, all the Muslims who are. Uh, I mean, thank you so much. Allah. Wallahi, he means a lot. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate well, it. Barakah. I uh, actually, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Huda TV. I actually met you at the Dubai Peace Convention. I don't know if you remember my, me and my son and my uh, mother and my daughter. She was on a wheelchair. Yes, I, you guys I, are from New York, right? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I do remember. You guys are from New York, and I saw you yeah. in front of the Huda TV booth. I believe you guys are from Brooklyn, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, brother, thank How you for coming. Yeah, well, Allah, great. Well, I'm glad you called in. I wish you would send me an email, brother, uh, with your personal contact so we can stay in touch. Uh, to send it to paulsathuda.tv. And uh, really, thank you for calling. Why didn't you call earlier, though? Yeah, I said, I said, you know how it is, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Of course. But, I, but are you? Uh, I'm a big fan. I do watch uh, Huda a lot, and uh, I, if you don't mind, I just want to tell me, yeah, uh, mashallah, Huda is doing uh, a very good job as far as far as presenting the the true message of Islam. A lot of good programs happening. Uh, I just wanted to make like two, uh, recommend two types of programs, if you don't mind. Go ahead. I, this is what we're here for. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I think that, and this is with speaking with others, I think that uh, a, a good topic, yeah, and mashallah, you guys already have some very good programs, but a good uh, show that I would re like to recommend is uh, you know, somebody who could do dream interpretation. Okay. Uh, right, okay. Uh, obviously, there's somebody who's skilled in it, in, in that field, obviously, uh, uh, and with call-ins, and so I think that a lot of people would be interested in this. And... Number two, I don't know if it could be done. Obviously, you, you, you guys have access to the ulama and the uh, shuk. Uh, is uh, 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 some, uh, you know, we talk about sickness and, uh, you know, somebody who's, who could do like rukyas, live rukyas, who could address, you know, you know, people who are sick as well. Uh, sure. Uh, you know, in that area, you know. Yeah, so, I think uh, that's I just a, to make those. Hey, brother, by the way, you guys are originally Palestinians. Is, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. But thank you so much for calling. And, and by the way, as far as the dream interpretation, your first request, I actually put that forward a long time ago. I thought it would be nice to do like 13 episodes of a program because we get yeah. so many calls about that. But uh, yeah. it's yet to be seen if we'll do it. I know it opens up um, a can of worms, so to speak. And, but I, I think perhaps, you know, I'll definitely pass it along. It could be a very interesting program. And, it's, it's, and the second one as well. Inshallah. Thank you, Abu uh, I appreciate it so much. Thank you for your call. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Inshallah. And please, really do email me, okay, at paulsathuda.tv. Okay, Brother Abu if you can hear me, please really do email me at paulsathuda.tv. I had the pleasure of meeting him and his family at the 2012 Dubai Peace Convention, which he mentioned. A lovely family, lovely, uh, lovely brother, uh, I believe from Brooklyn, New York, originally Palestinians, and they were nice people. So thank you so much, brother, for calling. And uh, we'll see about those suggestions. Thank you for suggesting them. Uh, as far as the dream interpretation, like I said, I actually had suggested that. We'll see if it goes forward or not. Uh, but certainly thank you for your, 
your feedback on that. I certainly appreciate it. I want to encourage you guys at home, give me a call like Abu Bilal and give me your ideas because when, when we hear from you guys, we know it's in demand so we can cater those programs to you. Having said that, I want to go back to my comments about the Uma tonight last night. And if you guys aren't watching it, I really want you to tune in. It's Saturday and Monday, 9.30 Cairo time, p.m. that is, 10.30 p.m. Mecca time, 8.30 p.m. Nigeria, 11.30 p.m. in the Gulf. The same time as this program, okay, but on Saturdays and Mondays. So Fadi Youssef, the Egyptian Coptic Christian, gave us a wonderful 30 minutes uh, of dialogue and respectful discussion. And I, re and I really liked it a lot because... Uh, it put to rest the people, especially in the Western media, who want to portray Muslims as being intolerant and oppressing Christians in the Middle East, when really they stand to learn from the, the, really the model of religious tolerance and cooperation and dialogue between interfaith communities here in the Middle East. I mean, let's be honest, countries like Holland, Germany, France, Bosnia, Greece, the United States, uh, the UK now, all these countries that have all this kind of Islamophobia that has resulted in uh, systemized and uh, institutionalized discrimination to even outright violence. They can really bear testament to that and I really was pleased that Huda TV gave us a platform to do that and so we hope to do it more in the future uh, inshallah. Having said that you guys we're going to take a short break and we're going to come back and talk more about the Ummah tonight, Jaya's Bank, the Straight Path and some more stuff coming up so stay tuned. <laughs> In a game of golf, both the caddy and the golfer have the same goal, to get the ball into the hole. Interest-free banking is similar. With a clear view of the fairway, a predefined agreement without shifting targets, things should end up where you want them. Your deposits are safe and your funds are ethically managed with a transparent and equitable approach to sharing risk and reward. No interest burden means more time to relax without the worry of nasty surprises. Rest assured, our interest is mutual. Jazz Bank, Nigeria's first full-fledged non-interest bank. for halqa or dhikr especially in the masjid Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide us with the following nazalat alayhim as-sakina tranquility you feel like peace of mind comfort for your eyes whenever you're sitting in the halqa in the masjid rashiyatuhum ar-rahma Allah covers this gathering with his mercy wa haffatuhum al-malaika that was stated in the previous hadith and the angels will surround them wa dhakarahum Allah fi man 'inda don't miss Dr. Muhammad Salah's all-new weekly program, Gardens of the Pious, live from 9 to 10 p.m. Mecca time every Wednesday night, only on Huda TV. All right, you guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to The Pulse. We were talking about the Ummah tonight. Please support it Saturday and Monday at the same time as this program, we're really trying to outdo programs like the stream on Al Jazeera International in Riz Khan and these programs. Uh, we want to really show that the Islamic media uh, can put together a well-prepared show. And that's what we're trying to do, inshallah. So please support that, the Ummah tonight. Also, we couldn't have done that program or we couldn't have accomplished this goal without the grace of Allah, of course. Uh, but of course, also with Jaiz Bank, who supported and financed our, that program. So we want to really thank the president and CEO of that bank, Mohammed bin Tube. Um, and El Hajj Muhammad bin Tube, uh, we certainly appreciate uh, the gesture that Jai's Bank offered us and, and extended to us by, by sponsoring that program. Of course, this stuff is not cheap. We're in a full state of the art studio and control room, so of course, it costs a lot of money. Um, by the grace of Allah, Jai's Bank provided that. So, if you guys can just get down there in Abuja, where they're based, and open up an account, that would be marvelous, and we would be thankful and grateful to you in order to kind of respond and show our appreciation to Jai's Bank. We're calling on the Nigerian viewers down there to open up an account with them and support Nigeria's first full-fledged Islamic bank, which you saw on the promo there, the commercial, uh, before the segment. Having said that, uh, the straight path last night, Brother Osama Shami was sick. May Allah grant him uh, health soon, inshallah. Uh, I mean, uh, he gave me a call. He said, Brother, you know, I have a great guest. I don't want to cancel. I don't want to cancel on the viewers. Can you please host the show? Of course, I'm not really qualified 
for this type of program, but I, I did it and I was really pleased I did because the Sheikh was amazing. The topic was protection from the shaitan. I sat there and learned from the Sheikh myself. It was really a wake up call for me and I hope the viewers as well. The Sheikh, na his name is Abdul Aziz Ali. He's originally from Kenya, uh, v now residing uh, and working, I believe, as an Imam in Toronto, Canada. Uh, really a soft spoken, uh, well mannered speaker. To say the least, we hope to film with him. In fact, uh, more programs, inshallah, in the field, hopefully, of comparative religion, a topic that he likes. Uh, he was in the, the studio earlier today filming a program. We certainly hope to see more of him, and I certainly hope you guys benefited uh, from that program, The Straight Path, uh, Protection from the Shaitan. When the Shaykh gave a lot of evidences about the reality of Shaitan and the harm they can do to you. And furthermore, he gave us hope and gave us the means, told us, taught us the means uh, of protection which Allah gave us through the Quran and the Sunnah so I was really honored to be on the program with him and I hope you, we can bring him back to the channel soon uh, inshallah having said that you guys in the, in, the, in the commercial break there you also saw Sheikh Muhammad's uh, report their promo commercial uh, for Gardens of the Pious I want you to support that program as well every Wednesday you've seen Dr. Salah mashallah give you answer your questions repeatedly every Sunday and Tuesday and by the way he takes that program very very seriously he works very hard to get here on time and to record extra episodes and to answer the thousands of questions he receives via phone call email and Facebook uh, that's Sundays and Tuesdays you see him on Thursday correcting your recitation teaching you how to recite the Quran and now on Wednesday he's giving you guys heart softeners so Sheikh Muhammad Salah is really giving a full effort here so please support him and support him on YouTube as well he just opened up a YouTube page called all lowercase one word gardens of the pious okay gardens of the pious all lowercase one word we hope soon inshallah to begin recording and uploading those episodes soon so please support him on youtube and share those view those benefit from those and if you haven't watched it yet it's wednesday i believe uh 9 p.m mecca time and 10 p.m in the gulf okay uh so it's an explanation of the classic work where all the Salaheen, you don't want to uh, miss that, you guys. Having said that, I, since we're talking about YouTube in Dr. Muhammad Salah's YouTube page, Gardens of the Pious, okay, all word, one word, lowercase. What about Twitter? Uh, we haven't opened up an official Twitter account yet. So if you see a Twitter account claiming to be Huda TV's official account, it's not, okay? We will open one soon, inshallah. I have opened a personal one. And it's M Evangelatos, capital M, capital E Evangelatos, just like you spell my name, which you can see on the bar at the beginning of this program. And really, I really had a good time with it. I hope you guys can tweet on there, follow me as well. And I hope to open up uh, the channel, a Twitter account soon, as well as the Twitter account for Dr. Salah. It really is a, 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 something that can be used in a beneficial way to spread uh, beneficial knowledge and beneficial conversations. Uh, that's Twitter. Uh, also, uh, programs in the works now. Uh, Kareem Abu Zaid, inshallah, Sheikh Kareem Abu Zaid, inshallah, has just wrapped up an all-new program, you guys, Tawheed First. You guys know Sheikh Kareem Abu Zaid as a, a, a frequent face on the channel. You may not know what a hard worker the Sheikh is, how fast he works, and what kind of effort he puts in to these programs, and how seriously he takes, uh, takes them, and how he prepares for them. So please support him. That program is called Tawheed First. You probably just wrapped up Nation of Goodness, which I was honored to host. Uh, Path to Salvation, I believe, is airing now or will be airing soon, which is kind of our first step from what I understand towards comparative religious studies. And also now, Tawheed first, and uh, inshallah, it will be a, a success. So stay tuned uh, for that. Having said that, we have a special guest that is set to arrive uh, the beginning of next month. Two special guests will arrive, inshallah, to our Cairo Bay Studios next month. The first is my good friend, Dr. Steph Kiris. Uh, he will do another program regarding the beauty and the, the magnificence and the legacy of Islamic history and heritage. Uh, he did a program called Europe's Forgotten Heritage, which was amazing, focusing on Europe. Now he will take that study, The Spread of Islam, on his new program, The Spread of Islam, inshallah, which will document and detail uh, the spread of Islam throughout the entire globe. We also hope that he will record a program called Ottoman Times, which will record and document Ottoman history from a purely Islamic perspective and talk about the great benefits of the Ottoman Caliphate and that is part of our effort to become a more academic intellectual educational channel to give you guys the full Islamic package including history so we're certainly pleased to have Dr. Steph Carey's inshallah uh, coming soon in other news you guys uh, the telethon a couple of weeks ago by the grace of Allah we were able to, ra to raise 
a significant amount of funds. We certainly appreciate every single person who called in or didn't call in and contributed. And we certainly appreciate the people who, are, who would have liked to contribute or who were, but who were not able to. May Allah bless you guys. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. And that funding will go to its uh, appropriate purpose, inshallah. Our goal, of course, is to reach our target audience uh, in Europe and America, Australia, Canada, generally the English-speaking world, which also includes, of course, South Asia, uh, Nigeria, populous uh, Islam, uh, English-speaking countries, in order to help spread the message of Islam and truly let Huda TV be a light in every home. Uh, also, we are hoping, by the grace of Allah, to do something that we haven't done before, something big. Uh, I don't want to call it a reality show because anybody who has a television set, which if you're watching this program, of course you do, you can see the filthy reality shows and the terrible broad things that channels broadcast. What we're going to try to do is, we don't want to talk about it too much because it's still in the works, but we're going to try to bring you guys a wonderful Islamic show live every day, which will feature Quran recitation competitions, Nashi competitions, uh, knowledge tests, and we would like to bring you guys live, uh, uh, present uh, the regular presenters, of course, Osama, inshallah, myself, to present the program, as well as the respected Shayuk uh, there to conduct the competitions. We certainly hope it's beneficial. We certainly hope uh, we can make it happen. If it's beneficial, uh, we certainly make dua for us, inshallah, for us to, um, to make that reality show a reality, I guess we can say. Uh, I said earlier we have two special guests coming next month, inshallah, in February, and the first was Dr. Steve. The second, of course, is Yusuf Estes. You guys know, know uh, Yusuf Estes from the enormous amount of programs that he has recorded with us. Most recently, I believe, Face Islam. Uh, you guys, uh, of course, Yusuf Estes has a very large following throughout the world. Um, and we have a lot of requests uh, to bring him back. So we're looking uh, forward to that. Uh, so stay tuned uh, for that, inshallah. Uh, we do have a phone call from Brother Ahmed from Egypt. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Ahmed. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brother, thank you so much for calling. Go ahead, brother. Thank you so much for calling. Yeah, uh, I would like to ask. The, we pledged to donate uh, some, uh, donate four hundred dollars for the money. Yes. And, and we live in Egypt, so do we bring the money straight to the studio, or do we send it still through the bank? Barakallahu First of all, thank you so much for that generous contribution because we do know four hundred dollars is in fact a large, a large contribution, especially these days of instability. May Allah help Egypt and all the Muslim countries. Uh, if you would like, brother, yes, you can come to the channel directly, and we're located here in Media City. Of course, you can still do it at the bank. We do have a bank account. Um, SubhanAllah, I don't have the information in front of me now. Uh, if you send me an email to pause at uh we do have an account here locally in Egypt, and I can give you that information. That will probably be easier for you, uh, especially if you're based somewhere else in the country, outside of Cairo or, or 6th of October City. So, brother, brother Ahmed, if you give me your email, by sending me an email to pulse at huda.tv, I'll give you our local bank account information. Uh, and if that doesn't work for you, yes, of course, we'll be honored to have you in the channel. And you can visit us here in Media City, uh, inshallah. Thank you, Brother Ahmed. And that's a reminder for everybody, really, that uh, you don't have to wait for the telethon to contribute. You can contribute at any time by simply logging on to www.huda.tv slash products by purchasing a, pa purchasing a pan, a cup, or a mug uh, or rather a t-shirt, or entering a numeric account into the, into the donation field to simply contribute any amount. Um, and of course, that will be very, very much appreciated. You guys, uh, we have about a minute left having that. Uh, we have about a minute left. Having said that, I have a couple of things I want to get on. I want to mention really quickly here. Ramadan Paul, Season 2. You guys want You guys got to call in. Let me know. I'm really excited about working with Brother Muhammad Ta'a one more time, inshallah. Ramadan Paul, Season 2. Email me and tell me what countries you want me to visit, okay? Email me and tell me what countries you want me to visit. And Ramadan's Paul, Season 2, inshallah. That is if Allah grants us life to reach Ramadan, inshallah. Also, Pierre Vogel's back around. I look forward to having him soon on the Ummah tonight to talk about Islamophobia uh, in Germany. Huda Fans Club, you guys, please, please, please support Huda Fans Club, you guys, in any way you can. Huda Academy, don't forget Huda Academy. That's your online source for Islamic knowledge. Tech Talk with Brother Omar. MashaAllah, the program is going wonderful by the grace of Allah. He's giving you guys a lot of valuable information, and I really mean it. Don't miss it, especially if you guys are looking at home to start a side internet business or looking to work on the side in addition to the work you have or want to work from home. This brother has, an ama has amazing ideas, and every, every single episode, he brings a different angle and a different way 
to start an internet business. So don't miss Tech Talk with Brother Omar. Having said that, you guys, I'm going to wrap up the program. I really certainly appreciate your time. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow night on the Ummah tonight and on Tuesday night on the Viewer's Pulse. So until then, inshallah, so until then, I leave you in the care of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Huda is the light in your home. We'll talk about Huda. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Huda is the light in your home.